Hello, this is MakerJ1, and here's my Lead Allen battery, my first one actually, um, and my only one so far, but I'm going to be making a new one in this video, so, um, this one served me quite well, um, it's not, at it's, in, it's not at the end of its life yet, it's starting to fall apart a little bit, but, as you can see, there's some black stuff in the bottom there, but, the max amp output is about, um, 130 milliamps, so that's not bad for this battery, but I'm having the same problem a few other people I've noticed are having that there's alum crystals growing up all over the positive side and even outside um, and not not usually there's many growing on the inside there there's a little bit because I've let it evaporate down about quarter inch, I haven't filled it up lately with water um, but there's absolutely no crystals on the negative so I'm not really sure why that is um, just kinda weird but I've let this sit for about a week here without being charged. Um, and I'll just show you the short current. It's staying about 1.35 volts. Um, and the short current right now, I saw about 50 there for a second. Uh, 20. So it's not very good when it's just sitting here. But I don't think I charged up before I let it sit here. So I'm just going to um, let it charge up here during the video. And you'll see at the end of the video, I'll short it out. And we'll see what the short out current is. But um, I charge it at 2.5 volts, and it's drawing about 45 milliamps there, about maybe 50. So, so yeah, okay, so I'm going to use this, so I'm using this solder here. Um, it's 1.5% um, solder, and the rest is, or I mean silver, um, and the rest is lead. So, and it's just kind of 95 degree Fahrenheit melting point. Um, but... So what I've done is I've taken about a, I think it's about three and a half foot long piece of solder and hammered it out flat. And then I'm going to cut this in half. And one of the pieces is going to be my positive or negative, I'm not sure which yet. Um, but it's going to be wrapped around a piece of paper towel. And that's going to be the middle of the battery. And then there's going to be another layer of paper towel around that. And then on top of that there's going to be more, the second piece of lead um, wrapped around that. So I've hammered it out so that it has more surface area. Um, but I've estimated that this new battery is going to have about four times the surface area of this battery. So I estimated that it should put out roughly 400 milliamps. But I'm just guessing. Um, so yeah. So I guess we'll get on to the construction of this battery. Okay, so I've got it all wrapped around the paper towel now. So the next step is to make sure that there's a few spots here that are like um, it tore apart or um, just in case it dissolves off somewhere or corrodes away. I'm going to tack this piece here, and this is going to be one of my terminals. I'm going to tack this all the way down here with just the solder iron, just kind of melt it in little spots um, on each layer here to kind of tack it together. Um, and that's actually how I made the, these plates on this stone, on this one is I took a piece on the back and tacked it on. So, and that seemed to work pretty good actually. Um, as long as you don't mix different kinds of set solder like this, um, I think this is 50-50 or something, oh, 60-40 um, solder. I used a little bit of this to you tack it on and it, and it did not, um, actually it's still silver in those spots. So I wouldn't use a different kind of solder, I'd just use the kind of solder you're using for the battery. So I'm going to clean off my tip real good before I start tacking that on so I don't contaminate it. So I'll get to tacking. Okay, so I have it all tacked on. Here's a close-up of it. So this is the back, and then here's the part where the wire goes on. I melt a little bit of a big hole right there. I might patch that over, but, but yeah, it works pretty good. Um, I, could, I did this side first, so it's a little bit worse than this side. This side I did a lot better job on, but it just takes a bit of practice to get... You just kind of stick this soldering iron on like this and then wait for it to melt and just kind of rotate it a little bit and you just have to be patient. This is pretty high temperature solder so it takes a while for it to melt but then just like that. So you get little melt spots and it tacks the pieces together so it works pretty good um, but it keeps it from falling apart. Um, some of the other people on YouTube, um, I think Mongrel Sharp Shark, he attached a bunch of sinkers together with some copper wire and the copper just kind of corroded away within like two or three charges so um, so yeah I found that this works pretty good um, so yeah 
Now I'm going to wrap the more paper towel around this, a few more layers, and wrap this piece around, around that, and maybe some more paper towels on top of that, and it should be done. Okay, so it's been charging for about 10 or 15 minutes. Um, the battery's not done yet. This is as far as I am so far, but I need to hammer out some more wire. But um, So yeah, it's been charging for about 10 or 15 minutes. It's still at 20 milliamps, so it's still charging, um, I think. But um, It's bubbling a little bit, actually. Usually it doesn't do that. But huh. I wonder why. That's weird. Okay, so we'll just short it out here. So disconnect the power supply. So it's down to that much voltage right now. Well, it's staying pretty steady actually. Uh, it is dropping though. So just short it out here. Uh, 120 milliamps. So it isn't it isn't quite as good as it used to be, um, but. It does stay in the 100 milliamp range for a little while, actually. But, yeah, it's remarkably well for my first homemade rechargeable battery, but um, I hope this one should be a lot better, but I don't know. We'll have to see. So, yeah. Okay, so I have the terminals all tacked on. Um, so, my positive is right here. I think this is going to be the positive. Um, because it's slightly bigger, and that's what see people on YouTube have seemed to say that um, you can also make the batteries so the positive is twice as big. So I think that the this plate here is a little bit bigger, so I think I'm going to have that the positive. Um, we'll see how that works. But, yeah, looks pretty good. So I just melted little holes in it with the soldering iron, and that works pretty good. And I also put some heat shrink tubing over the wires here or the the leads there so that they don't touch together and short out so that should work good so now I just gotta find a container or something to put it in and mix up some alum okay so this is gonna be the container I'm gonna put it in I have water in it right now but it's just a plastic bag it took me quite a few tries to get it to it was like a large one about this long and about that wide um, but I took this piece of angle or this L-shaped um, aluminum and on a piece of glass I heated this up with the torch and then I cut the plastic with it which I tried it and it seal was horrible there was tons of leaks on it along and I tried multiple times to get it to work and it, I couldn't get it to work so what I found out instead was I just took the plastic with the edge that was somewhat stuck together and then I took the blowtorch and just kind of put it along the side here and see it melts it there that's how I got perfect seal you have to do it really carefully but yeah just like that and there was like two leaks in it and I fixed it and it's fine now the only place it leaks a little bit is right there and right there but you can't really do anything about that but that's only when you squeeze it see so I think this will work real good I just have to put some little holes in it and glue the two leads to the holes and that should be perfect. Alright so I've just put it inside the bag and glued it. So I use this um, E6000 glue. Um, it's like just industrial piece so that's what it says. Um, but it's like, I don't know, it's not wa it's not water based though. Um, but it works pretty good. Um, so it'll be waterproof I'm pretty sure. Um, so now I'm going to mix up the alum. So this is about 50 milliliters of water. I'm not really sure how much it's going to take, but I'm going to see how much alum it takes, how much dissolves in it, it's, and it's warm water too. So, And this is one quarter tablespoon, so just dump that in and we'll see what, what it does. So, I don't know. Eh, I don't need to do this on camera. Okay, so I think I put about half a teaspoon in here of alum so and this is fill 50 milliliters of water I just have this little motor with a um, popsicle stick stuck on it to stir it because my hand was getting awful tired so but I heated it up a little bit so that it's um so I'm gonna saturate it and then so I have plenty in there I'm sure there's none in the bottom anymore so 
So I've probably added enough, so I should probably add it to the battery now. But the battery is all dried now. So that should work real good. I don't know if I can pour it in here on camera, but I could try. Yeah, my little steering rig works pretty good. I think this is going to need two hands. Not sure if you'll even be able to see this, but... Probably enough because I don't want it too full. Maybe a little bit more. So, for this little battery here, it took about 50 milliliters of liquid. That's probably plenty. I just have to get it squished out so that I can seal it. Try to get the air bubble out. There we go. So there we go. It's finished. And it doesn't seem to be leaking at all. So that's good. I see a little bit of air bubbles in there. But it should work real good. So now all I've got to do is charge it up. Um, I'm not actually going to charge it up and anything like that on this video. I'm going to... Um, I'm not sure how many volts to charge it with the first charge. So um, if you have any idea, if you have any experience with these batteries, um, post a comment um, how much voltage I should apply to this to charge it first. Um, I'm not sure if I should put a high voltage to it first just to uh, I think it's called conditioning. I'm not really sure though. Um, or turn up the voltage real slow or what. So I don't know about that. So if you have any ideas on that um, just post a comment. Um, I'll really appreciate that and I will charge it up and discharge it in the or show, show it charging and um, the current output in the next video. So look forward to that. It will be coming soon. Thank you for watching.